What's going on YouTube? So in this video I'm going to take a look at Nova Launcher on the S7 Edge. Um, Nova Launcher is a very powerful launcher that replaces the TouchWiz launcher and I've actually ended up replacing it um, on pretty much every device I own including this Note 5 that I have here on the left as well as my uh, Nexus 6P and what's really nice about it is like I said you get a lot of features and you get a lot of customization options that you don't have in most stock launchers and so again this is a Note 5 on the left just want you to see what I've done here um, you see the book app it's a little different looking the app drawer is a little different and then the other thing one of the other things you can do is you see I have no notification pane up there at the top and if I swipe up it'll come back and then I can hide it again um, so just a lot of features these are customizable too for example it's a folder but if I swipe up on it it takes me to directly write a tweet same with this one just a folder if I swipe up it opens up the Chrome browser for me and all of this is customizable um, the way you customize things is just long presses into settings on your home screen, long presses, edit, and then you see swipe action to open folder. No, I have Twitter. Um, you can change the look of stuff, but enough about the Note 5. I want to show you how it looks on the S7 Edge, which it's going gonna, it's gonna to end up making my 7 Edge look pretty much identical to my Note 5 here. So first things first, install it from the Play Store if you haven't. I've done so already. So let me just go ahead and go to settings. And then in device applications, default applications, home screen you see TouchWiz Home is the stock out of the box home screen launcher, or launcher rather. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Nova Launcher you see I also have the Google Now Launcher, which that one's also available to download if you want a more stock Google experience. Um, the thing that's kind of kind of not good about that one is you'll lose the icons that you saw. Go back to home real quick. Um, oh, I, I selected Nova, so now I'm using Nova. Um, one of the things that you'll notice is, for example, the camera the contacts, um, where is it, the phone app, oh I missed it, <laughs> the phone app, they all went back to their uh, Samsung icons and what you can do with Nova, if I long press on that, uh, I can go to edit and then select the icon here and then we get some options here and I'll go ahead and do Marshmallow and select the camera there and hit done. So now I get the Marshmallow icon, which, you know, that's pretty cool. Go back here, go to edit again, go here, and you see down here we have get more themes. There's a ton of themes on the Google Play Store, not only entire, you know, phone themes, but just icon packs, all that stuff. Nova Launcher allows you to do that here, which with TouchWiz you can only really do it through their own theme store. And you can keep, even create your own custom themes, so if I go here and, oh, that was not the one I wanted. So if I go to Gallery Apps, this will let you pick, you know, icons that you've made yourself or you've downloaded from somewhere other than the Play Store. Uh, you can do that through Gallery Apps, and like I said, you can also get icon apps to more themes. So just tons of customization options. And go ahead and hit done. One of the cool things though, since I am already using this on my Note 5, what I can do is go ahead and long press on that, go to settings. I can actually export my settings from here to Google Drive and then I'll be able to apply the settings over here. So that saves you the hassle of, you know, if you get a new phone, you don't want to have to go through and redo everything. Let's go to backup, backup, and then 
let's call this for S7. And then what you can do here is you can either save it to the device or save it to document storage or share it. If you hit share and then hit OK, then you can go to drive. So once you select drive, it should be available over here. You can see it's saying your files are going to upload to drive. One file is uploaded. So now over here we'll long press, go to settings, and back up and import. So here you're going to select restore and then browse for it in your uh, drive app. Go to browse. And then once you find it and select it, it's going to say delete current layout, hit OK. So now we see, go back home, see our icons are a lot bigger, our app drawer is obviously different, and now it's asking us to set up these uh, widgets. So there we go, and we've got those in place as well. Let's see if our swipes are there too. Yep, our swipes are still there. And, and one of the nice things, one of the other cool things is that, so this app, for example, um, the book app, uh, you can't really resize it, but here you can resize it to your heart's content. And it just allows for a lot more customization. Um, if I go here, take off padding, or turn on padding, it lets the widgets fill more of the screen. So just more more customization. And I'll set this up later. Right here. I mean, I'll set that up later. Um, so go here. And then again in settings. So see just tons of options, tons of settings. And the things I like about it the most are Obviously, it went back to the stock icons because that's what I had over here. And so it carried those settings over. And let's see if, yep. I haven't logged into Twitter on this phone yet, but obviously, swiping on that brought up the Twitter app. And so this is Nova Launcher. It's, it's a very powerful launcher, and it's a very awesome, in my personal opinion, awesome replacement for the TouchWiz launcher, or I would even say the Google Mail launcher on a Nexus device. Um, so there you go, that is the Nova launcher on the Galaxy S7 Edge. It also works on the regular S7 as well as the S6 variants, and obviously here the Note 5 on my left. And like I said, I've also got it on my Nexus 6P, and my Nexus 6P over here. Squeeze it into the frame here. See the swiping again. Have that enabled as well. So, I like it. I use it on all my devices. And I highly recommend it. As always, links to it in the description down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram, or just send me a message on my homepage or drop a comment in the comment section down below. Until next time, let me know what you think of Nova Launcher or if you're using a totally different launcher and what you think of that launcher. Look forward to seeing those comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, take care.